Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess and today I thought I would talk to you guys about my current move. I've been so excited to tell you guys about this because I've been wanting this for so long. And before I do get into this, I just thought I would let you guys know that this is going to be a series and part one is up on my channel if you guys wanna check it out. I did a empty house tour where you get to see what I'm working with and what this move looks like. But today I wanna to tell you guys about the move and actually show you what my move looked like because it was pretty crazy. So if you guys are enjoying my channel, please consider subscribing. It would really mean a lot to me and let's just jump in. So I thought that I would start this off by talking about why I even decided to move in the first place. Before this, I had been moving pretty consistently. I probably want to say every five months or so I was doing some kind of move and I was in various apartments. I lived with my mom for a brief stint and I was just like not really ever settled into any one place. And then I found my house that I had been living in for about two years. I, I, I moved. And I honestly did not intend on staying there for so long, but obviously with the way that the world was going and I did lose my job during that whole situation. So I didn't really feel like it was the right time to move. And on top of it, places in LA are really hard to find and I wanted to find the right place for me and P. So I felt like I was going to do better by myself if I just took my time to actually look through different places and find what made the most sense for me. The place that I did find that I was just in, not my current place, like I mentioned, I was at that place for about two years and I found my roommate on Facebook and I really liked the house. It reminded me of a house that I had stayed at in Seattle when I was living there. So I was really excited about it. I liked the area. I liked that I was close to a lot of stores and things like that. So I thought it would be a really great place for me to start my LA journey. And it had a really big backyard, which P absolutely loved as you guys know I've shown him in that backyard so many times and I think that's one of the things I'll miss the most about that house but aside from that I just felt like it was cheap and it was a good place to start but again I did not know that I was going to be there for two years. Over time I just felt like things were getting more and more tense at my house. I just felt like I couldn't really use the space like I wanted to. My room was incredibly small and I really had to just stay to my space because my roommate didn't really like P at the end of the day. So it was very stressful because P is my baby. So being with someone who doesn't really like your dog is really tough because again, you just are limited to so many spaces. There was just a lot of passive aggressive tension after a while and we realized that we just didn't clash as roommates. So again, slowly I was trying to find a good solution for me and P. I wanted to not rush into it and I wanted to find something that actually made sense for us. And finally I did find my place. But the reason why there was so much pressure towards the end to find the right space, and I'm so glad that I did, was mostly because my roommate and her boyfriend wanted to move in together and they wanted to move into the house that I was living in, which was very difficult for me because that basically meant that I was the one who had to move. And usually that's not how that works, but I decided to just make it so that there was no more tension and I was the one that was looking for places and I got really lucky and I did find a one bedroom house. There were of course other things that were not related to my roommate at all or the fact that she had a boyfriend because when I knew that I wanted to move out, it was about six months into living at that house. So about a year and a half of me looking for the right place. And again, there were just so many other things. The house was literally a hundred years old, over a hundred years old. And it was like everything needed new stuff. Like we needed a new roof while I was there. I also got new windows because I was on a walk one time and I came home and my windows were just like broken in. Not because someone broke in, just they were broken. And there was just always something happening with the house. I remember like we didn't have a hood over our oven and instead it was just like a hole in the ceiling. And every time it would rain, it would just rain on the oven so you couldn't even cook. And just small things like that, that would just frustrating. But because the rent was so cheap, I was like, okay, I can deal with this it's fine, but I definitely knew I wanted more space. I wanted more storage and I just wanted a place where I could be with P and be comfortable. I was so surprised when I did find my place. I actually found a different place that I thought that I was going to really love and it turned out it wasn't what I thought it was. And I was really bummed out and I decided to FaceTime my sister and I was just like talking to her about it. I had already upped my budget of what types of places I could afford, but even still I was only finding studio apartments for crazy expensive prices. And I know that LA has just been wild lately, but it felt really expensive and I was, 
I was just feeling a little down. And as we were FaceTiming, I just went on apartments.com just to like see what was out there on a different website than what I had been using. And there was just this one place that was so cute. There's this specific picture of the kitchen that I loved and I was so excited about it. So I just inquired. And about 10 minutes later, I got a phone call from the landlord saying, hey, I'm actually gonna be there. Do you wanna just come see it? And I went and I loved it. And within 30 minutes, I applied. And the next day I found out that I got accepted and I would be moving in that next week. So it was a lot, it was moving really fast, but I was so excited to finally find my place. you guys what's going on this next few weeks i found out on monday that i would be moving which is crazy i have sort of a plan that i have to do so basically this week i need to pack up my entire area and move it over on tuesday which is the first and then from there i have to go that following weekend on like the fifth to San Diego in order to get all my stuff from San Diego because most of like the couch and that kind of deal is all in San Diego. But I thought I would have you guys follow me along in my moving process. I used to move like every five months or so and I can't believe that it's been about two years since I last moved and I'm really grateful for that. I found a little place, it's just a one bedroom house and it has a tiny little yard for pee which I'm really excited about and it's not the most spacious but it's definitely more space than what I have now so I'm really excited to just like have my own spot. I just thought I would start this off and take you guys along in my move and starting off with packing everything here which I'm not really looking forward to but I know it has to be done so that's going to be within the next few days and especially this weekend I'm just going to like hyper focus on getting this place all together. So I met up with my landlord and I got my keys a couple of days early and she said it was totally fine if I wanted to move a couple of things and you know especially like my fragile stuff and that's exactly what I did and then on moving day which was February 1st and that was a Tuesday my plan was that I was going to go to the dentist that day I had already had a dentist appointment and I figured not to change it and then I was going to pick up the U-Haul and I was going to start to move and unfortunately I did have to move all by myself mostly because Ryan would typically help me out and take the day off, but because it was a Tuesday and it actually happened to be his second day at his new job, it wasn't something that he could really ask to take off. So I had to do it by myself. And I really don't know how I did that. I felt like it was kind of a fever dream where I just like woke up and was like, oh my God, how did I do that? My neighbors probably thought I was absolutely insane, but somehow I was able to get it all done. It was a little stressful because I did have to do it within seven hours because that's the time that U-Haul gave me, but I did it and I did it in six. So I was, was very excited to get it all done. It was actually pretty funny because when I was close to being finished, my neighbor was offering to help me out. But at that point I had like two things left in the U-Haul. And on top of it, I don't know if you guys do this too, but a lot of times when I am moving stuff like that, I don't know why, but I claim that I don't need help when I probably could use the help. But I like try to be so self-sufficient and try to do it by myself. And I'm not really sure why I do that, but anyway, I ended up getting it all done and I was really excited once it was all finished, but definitely should have probably taken her up on that help. Good morning, you guys. Today is February 1st. It's moving day and my battery's dying, of course. Let me change that. Okay, let's try that again. Um, it's moving day. So today I am actually physically moving all of my stuff into this place. My landlady actually let me... Um, come in a couple of days early. I think she let me come in on the 30th. So I moved in a couple of small things, like maybe the more fragile things. I'll kind of show you while I'm making my coffee. Obviously P is here. I'm gonna have to bring him to the old house so he can like chill outside while I move all my stuff. Excuse me, bug. 
And then I brought this morning my TV. I have like my record player and my PlayStation. Obviously P's bed, the couch is probably gonna go here somewhere. And then I brought a couple of boxes, another bed of P's with a little toy. And then I actually worked here yesterday. So I brought my desk, just like some basics of the desk, I guess you could say. Um, and I still have to figure out why the Google Home is not working. And then I brought a bunch of my clothes, which are currently like, I decided is just not, not important for it to be put away right this very second because the more important thing was to get all of the um, like bo stuff boxed. So that's sort of the situation. I do also at some point probably need to go to Target because I need a couple of things. And because a lot of the um, furniture is not going to be in the house, I don't really wanna leave P just like hanging by himself. So I think my plan today is I actually have a dentist appointment at 9 a.m. and then my U-Haul is reserved for 11. So I think between the times, like when I'm done with the dentist, it usually takes like 30 minutes to an hour. With that extra hour of time, I'm gonna run over to Target real quick, return a couple of things that I have and buy like a shower caddy and that type of deal. And then um, and, and go pick up the U-Haul and start moving stuff. But in the meantime, what time is it now? I was just making coffee, it's 7.39, and Pete really wants to go do something, so I think I'm gonna go take him um, on a little walk because I wanna make sure that he also gets plenty of exercise even though I'm going to be preoccupied throughout the day, so. So far, he seems to be taking pretty well to the house, and the neighbors got to meet him, and they really like dogs. They have dogs of their own, so we're hoping that eventually they can, like, all be friends, but for now, I, again, I just want to, like, be safe and make sure he's not going to, like, scratch a door or something like that, so I'm going to start drinking my coffee, and I'm going to go take him on a little walk, and uh, I will check in with you guys after, like, Target and my appointment and everything, and once I'm actually moving things. Okay, I just made my Target trip and I'm headed back to the new house so that I can put a couple things down and I am headed back home. I'm probably talking weird because I was just at the dentist and I have fluoride all over my teeth, but I'm heading back there. I'm basically just gonna drop off the stuff real quick and then I'm going to go over to pick up the U-Haul and then I'm actually gonna start moving stuff, which is crazy to me. I'm doing laundry while I'm doing this whole process because I'm in a new place I don't have washing or drying. so. I'm trying to utilize it while I can so that I don't have to go to like a laundry mat or anything. But that's really the plan so far. I am just getting everything together and then officially starting to move. I'm so exhausted. Okay, so this is what we're currently dealing with. I just got everything, well, most things. There's like a couple small things, like a few dishes and a sponge, things like that, that I have to bring back from the other house. But here's the majority of the stuff that I brought. It's literally everywhere right now. I have all of this stuff. I have a couple of things. I put my mattress in the kitchen, but I have all of this. And then, if you come over here, I actually try to keep my bed, I mean my room kind of clean because I was going to put up the bed soon. So this is sort of the situation. Again, it's much cleaner just because I'm going to like actually put up the bed and then I work from here. So I want it to look 
semi-professional. So what my next plan is, is I'm going to go return the truck. I'm going to pick my car back up and then I'm going to go back to the old house and finalize those last few things and bring it all here. And then I'll be done for the day. Wow, it's wild. And then I have to organize everything, which is gonna be an adventure in itself. Good morning, you guys. Um, today is basically day two of my moving process. I had quite the interesting day yesterday. I moved for about six hours completely by myself. And then today, or last night, sorry, everything was actually going really well yesterday. But then I think I was getting tired because I like have this fake grass and I scratched my car with it by accident. And then I dropped a bunch of glass by accident too, which was a bummer. But um, luckily everything was able to be cleaned up. I still have to do a little bit of cleaning this morning because I couldn't see everything in the dark. But today I do want to try to tackle some of the space to try to make it a a little cleaner because right now it's just very chaotic over here and then same if you go into this room it's just like crazy so i have a little bit of time before i start work and i figured i would get some of that taken care of so the other thing that I felt like I made a little bit of a mistake on was that I only took one day off of work and I probably should have taken like two or three days. Because of that, what I started to tackle next was the closet because I brought a lot of my clothes in boxes just to make it easier for myself. So that meant that a lot of the boxes that I did have were the clothes. So my goal was just to get as many boxes out of the way as possible. And I figured that the clothes were the easiest way to do that. Good morning, you guys. Today is Saturday, February 5th, and today I am moving my stuff from San Diego over to LA. I have a bunch of stuff that I just have in San Diego, so I just need to get it done, basically. I just have a lot of like pots and pans and things like that that I just don't want to rebuy, so I think it makes the most amount of sense to bring it over in a U-Haul because the U-Haul is like 100 bucks. So Ryan and I are meeting around 8 to do that. I'm picking them up at 8. Um, also, do you guys like my shirt? This was a Christmas present from my mom. Look how freaking cute. It says official sleep shirt and then it's me and P. <laughs> I can't not wear it to bed now. It's really funny. It's been really weird so far to have my own place, especially with P being able to just like do whatever he wants and like roam around as he pleases. Like I'm really just not used to that and I'm really grateful for it. Then the next step was to go to San Diego. I didn't vlog at all while I was in San Diego. I just took a quick clip of me basically driving along the freeway trying to get home, but it was kind of chaotic because Ryan did actually come to help me this time. It was on a Saturday, so he was able to help out. But of course, um, the garage that we were using, it just happened to not work while we were there. And so we were trying to close it up to get a quick lunch with Ryan's sister and it wouldn't close. And it just happened to be a coincidence that when we were there, it broke. And thank goodness we were there for that so that we could like help get it fixed. But it just added to the chaos and like thank God god that ryan was there because i feel like i would have been so stressed if i was trying to do all that by myself but the other nice thing was that because i was going from san diego to la for that move i was able to take the u-haul for a couple of days they gave it to me for i think three days or something like that so what we ended up doing was getting everything in the u-haul getting it back to la getting it in the house and then from there we just left the u-haul and we returned it in the morning because we were dead tired after that I did take some final walkthrough footage, which I'll put here. And this footage actually made me very emotional. I think this was obviously my first place that I lived in LA and I wanted it so badly to be the thing that I wanted it to be. And like I mentioned, it reminded me of Seattle a lot and it just had this like really cool look to it. And I really loved the house. And I went through so much in that space too, like all of COVID and losing my job and finding new jobs and just like so much. And P loved the backyard and everything like that too. But at the same time, there was so much that it just didn't live up to, I guess you could say. I was constantly restricted in my space. So again, doing this walkthrough felt very emotional because it was a bit of like sad that I was leaving this space that I was, it was the only space that I knew and I had been there for two years, but also so much emotion of like excitement that I was going to something that I would be more comfortable in and that would be my own space and that I wouldn't have to argue with anybody or think about anybody else really, just think about myself, decorate it the way that I wanted to do it. And 
just have my own place. So it was just a lot of up and down emotion. I actually had P do the walkthrough with me, which I know sounds so silly, but it was one of those things where like, it felt so weird to have him there with me because he was never allowed in those spaces. And so, I like secretly had him come with me and I felt like we were doing something wrong, but also I was just like, I don't even care anymore. Like we're just, we're going for it and we're gonna do a final walkthrough and he's gonna get to, to go through the whole space. Just re-watching that footage, it's interesting too because the new place is a complete 180. I feel like there's just so much different energy. P often likes to hang out in our front yard now and I leave tennis balls out and people will walk by and say good morning to him and they will throw tennis balls with him and they seem to treat him so much differently and it makes me really excited that we're in a space where he can be so much more free and happy and have his own place and there's just not as much tension. So that is the move. There there's honestly so much that has to get done and I'm really excited to share it with you guys. I'm really excited to decorate this place. I wanna take my time and make sure that I decorate it the way that I want to decorate it. And I wanna share that with you guys too. If you guys have any recommendations of what I should do to the space, I would always love to hear that. Um, I'm, I think I have a kind of a vision, but I always love to hear what you guys think too. Like I mentioned earlier, I am making a series out of this. So my next, part of this will be decorating the house, um, at least part one of decorating it. So that will be exciting. And um, yeah, if you guys are moving, don't do it in one day and try not to do it by yourself if you can avoid it. Those are probably the biggest mistakes that I made. And take your time in finding the right place because honestly, I'm so glad that I did not settle for like a studio apartment or something like that and that I found this one bedroom house with a yard that P is like happy in. It's like, it's amazing. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching and subscribing. If you guys like to see anything else on my channel, feel free to let me know. Otherwise I'm going to be releasing some of these moving vlogs every Saturday. So stay tuned for that and I will see you on Tuesday. Bye guys.